Hey guys, let's discuss some low stakes poker strategy today. I'm your host, Alex Fitzgerald, aka Assassinato. I have W Coop and Scoop wins, WPT and EPT final tables, and I most recently won the 250K guaranteed. I mostly play low stakes games now though, so I know the problems you're actually facing. This was an odd hand I played on an American facing anonymous site. I was playing a $162 buy-in tournament, but most of the players were low stakes players. For that reason, despite the buy-in, we're still going to be using mostly low stakes poker strategy. See how you do versus this loose opener on the button. So we get a loose opener on the button. Five seconds. What do you want to do here from the big blind? All right, that is time. We go ahead and call here. The board comes king, eight, king, checker bet. We check. And villain eight fires two big blinds, full call arrays, five seconds. That's it. We call here. The turn is the three of spades, checker bet. That's time. We check here. Villain eight checks back. The river is the 10 of diamonds. Checker bet. That's time. We check. And villain eight fires 7.45 big blinds into 9.93. 15 seconds. What would you like to do? Just a few more seconds. All right, that is time. Pencils down. We call here. And we catch our opponent here. In this hand, we exploited our opponent with a loose call. It's important we do loose calls like this when we're employing low stakes poker strategy. Versus low stakes players, you can use basic hand reading. If you get confused at the table, don't worry. Just start with the basics, high card, one pair, two pair or better, and a draw. Let's back up and go through this hand. So let's start with pre-flop. Pre-flop, we do not three bet because we don't want to build a huge pot out of position with a dominated hand. You could probably get away with three betting, but let's not discuss that option today. Versus a very weak opponent, there's a lot you can get away with, but let's not discuss that. On the flop, we check and call because it's... on the flop, we check and call because it is likely our high card is still the best hand. He is opening and continuation betting with many hands we beat. On the turn, we both check. On the river, we decline to bet because we don't need to. Our hand can win at showdown. We don't need to bet and bluff with the hand. When we check river, our opponent makes a large bet. This is where we need to use some basic low stakes poker strategy. Let's think about the basic groupings of hands. Does he do this with a draw? Yes, it's possible he does it with a missed draw. He could have developed a spade draw on the turn, then bet when he missed. However, some players would bet that hand on the turn. Is he playing a pair like that? That seems like a large bet for an 8 or 10. We have played passively in this hand. Our range does not look great. If he was going for thin value, wouldn't he have bet smaller? How about two pair or better? Well, that would be three kings most likely. But wouldn't he have bet the turn with that hand to try and build a pot? How about a high card he is bluffing with? That makes the most sense. He could be trying to buy the pot here with a bet that doesn't represent anything. Because no value hand is realistic, we make an exploitative thing call here and we're, we are rewarded. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in today. If you want to continue your poker study today, go into the information section of this video. I asked you guys what you wanted a masterclass on. 
And a number of you told me you don't know what to do with Ace King when you miss the flop. You don't know what to do with Ace King when you three bet with it, continuation bet, miss the flop, and the person still calls you. So I made an entire masterclass on Ace King. You can go ahead and check that out. It's just like this, but it's an hour long. And it'll tell you what to do when you hit the hand, when you miss the hand, when you're out of position, when you're in position. Check that out. Thank you for tuning in today. I will see you for the next one of these. Take care. Good luck to you if you're playing today.